Hello. Happy Wednesday. I'm so glad you guys are able to join me if you are catching me on replay. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you on replay too. You guys are awesome. I'm patching in our Amazon friends. Boop, boop, boop. Welcome. It is what I love on Amazon this week on Wednesday. And uh, I can't tell you how excited I am to be here because I have struggled with some major technical difficulties this morning. We had a little bit of weather. It wasn't like horrible weather, but it was still rain and clouds and my internet doesn't work that great out here in the sticks um, when there's really any type of weird weather. So I'm just happy to be here. How about you? Let me know in the comments below as you pile in here um, how your day is. Hi, Gail Dodson. Happy Wednesday. I'm so glad you were able to join us. Um, we're going to have some fun. I'm going to go over some of the things. Some of them are older things that I've shared before, but some of them are new. And it's always a good refresher because I have so many new friends on here that are following. And listen, if you are new to me, welcome. My name is Melanie Ferguson. I write the blog southerncrushathome.com. And this is my Amazon channel. This is where I share all the things that I love, um, things that I find online that help me with my decorating in my home, help me with my crafting for projects and just everyday items that I think that maybe you would like too. So that's how I like to share things. Um, if you don't already follow, hit that little follow button. If you are catching me, hey, Del Marie, how are you from Tyler, Texas? Listen, if you are catching me over on the uh, YouTube channel, just know that you will have your actual best experience if you tap that little link there I've put in the chat and join me over on Amazon Live because that is where you will see all of the items that I share with you in the carousel. Hi, Miss Shelly Roberts. I'm so glad you were able to join over on Amazon. Living to the max. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Hello, Tam jo Tammy Joy. I love that, Tammy Joy. That's awesome. And Monique, my girlfriend. Mwah. Hello and happy Wednesday to you. All right. Without further ado, let's get started. All right. Let me know. Let me know. Um, something, anything. Y'all, this is interactive. We like chat it up in here. We have a good time. Okay. This is for fun. All right. So if you see anything you like though, definitely grab it, put it in your cart and uh, check out before we finish, because I don't want you, I don't want them to sell out of anything that you like. So this interesting sweatshirt, <laughs> I started out with the word interesting because, um, yay, heading over to Amazon to watch. Um, I started out with the word interesting. Hi, Mademoiselle, cold in Southern California. It's cooling off here too in Texas. I'm in North Texas and it's weird weather. Like it was 70 something yesterday. It'll probably get in the thirties and forties today. So, uh, but this is an awesome sweatshirt I want to share with you guys. All right. So it is in a really awesome green color. I picked green so that I would have something for, for, um, St. Patrick's day. So I wouldn't get pinched, but look, so it has this sleeve, has this sleeve that, um, is ribbed right here and goes all the way down. So, and so let me just show you. So I've, I'm going to go ahead and cuff it right here because I really like to keep my sleeves out of all the things. So I cuffed it there. You can cuff it or not cuff it. And then it loosens up all in here, all in the places you need it to loosen up. And then it has a slight bat wing, bat wing right there. And then you can see the start of the pocket. So the pocket is really awesome, y'all. It's on both sides and it comes to the center as a, as a one, a, a single pocket. I love that because I can drop my phone down in there um, like so. And I don't have to um, hold it. It's hands-free. Woohoo. I put my AirPods in there when I'm walking, whatever I need to do. So let me show you uh, the rest of this. It has, let me move my chair out of the way. Limited space here, y'all. It's kind of like, um, it's very forgiving. It's loose. It's got this awesome hoodie on the back. It snaps in the front. So you could either snap it up and wear it like this, you know, or you could totally wear like a little tank under it like I am. And I'm wearing it with the joggers that I've shared with you guys several times. Um, they're these cute little 
joggers. I didn't put them in the carousel because I didn't know I was going to show you. <laughs> But this is so fun, so cute. It comes in multiple colors. I just got the green to have a little something different because um, sometimes my wardrobe can get really boring. So I think it'd be really cute with like a little scarf over it too, underneath the hood and um, stuff like that. Sorry, I was reading a, a message. Amazon customer, you go girl. Yes, you too. Gail, you like the neckline having snaps. Yes, regular hoodies can choke you. So it's very forgiving. And look, you can put your little hoodie on and then you can be all cozy at your computer when you're working from home. Um, or for me, like today, it's a little sprinkly weather outside. I like to sometimes kind of try to save my hair, <laughs> save the hair. And so I'll put a hood on um, just to not have to carry like an umbrella or something like that. So that's kind of why I put it on today. But I love the green. They have, like I said, multiple colors. You can check them out. I think it is a great deal. I'm going to be wearing this a lot this winter. Um, and it's um, got kind of a soft, it's a little bit of um, a sweatshirt material on the inside. Do you like seeing close up? Um, and then it's just, it's a really awesome, it's got, um, let me show you. So it's got the sweatshirt material here, and then it's got that ribbed, material here around the cuff that's like the cuff. You guys, I tell you every single time I do one of these lives, I am not a fashion blogger. So <laughs> you have to forgive me for the way that I share things and the way that I um, describe them because <laughs> I'm like, it's soft. It's like this, but it's not like that. I'm just trying to help you. Uh, help me help you. Um, so Next, next, next. So I shared this in a video. I shared this in my stories and as a reel. If you follow me over on Instagram or on Facebook, you saw this this week, but I want, it was worthy of showing you in person today. So this is a tea, a glass tea bag holder. So I will have tea every single day for probably the last couple, two, three years. And, um, this just checks all the boxes for my OCD. You have a little pocket for every one of my tea types. And you can see it all at a glance. So I have like loose tea bags in there, regular tea up here, all my favorites. Absolutely love, love, love this. Look at there. Look, talk about OCD. Look at that. What do you think? What do you say? Um, do you guys drink tea? So I've been watching a lot. I watch a lot of British shows and um, I even ordered Brit Box. I don't love all the things on there, but there are a few that I'm like, ah, have to have. And I like to pretend I just get my cup of tea and I have my hot tea. So I do like hot tea in the afternoon, but I always have a hot tea in the evening. And it's usually between like seven and eight o'clock at night. It's just something to kind of de exhale and just kind of like be done with the day. Uh, so now StreamYard's not showing me comments anymore. So you guys have to keep commenting and let me know if you commented because I'll be able to go back and check on YouTube. But uh, yeah, so it's glass. It's all glass right here, glass in here. And then it's got the gold little um, handle there. But I absolutely love it. My favorite tea is this one right here. It's a loose, it's not, it's like this. This one is mm, honey chamomile. I absolutely love it. I mean, we could talk about all the teas, but this is one of another one of my favorites, toasted coconut almond bark. It's not coming in very clear. Toasted coconut almond bark. So this one actually um, is really good hot or cold. So if you are more of a cold tea drinker, this is a really fun one to brew and then pour over ice. Yum. And um, it just looks like a hint of coconut because it has the almond bark. So it's kind of got that mm, wedding cake flavor that I'm obsessed with. And then, of course, when I'm not feeling so well, I use this one, um, lemon, echinacea, and herbal tea. Stay well is what it's called. 
And my daughter's tea is in here. She likes green tea and she gets this one um, with probiotics in it. So yeah, I like this chai one too. I like them all, but um, the honey chai, they're just so cozy. Cozy. I'm going to put this down. So let me know in the comments if you like tea. Let's see what Monique says. She says, that's really nice. You get it with the tea or put your own in it. Oh, no, it's definitely empty. So you definitely want to be able to put your own tea bags in there. And so when I get them from the store, let me show you what I do. Is it still in here? Yes. So when I get it from the store, what I'll do, let me get the comment out, um, is I will take, if it's the kind that comes loose like this, like my honey chamomile, and then this one, I think this one's still like a sleepy time tea. Um, I will cut out the part of the um, box and it still tells me what it is. This one is the immune boost. This is definitely one that I drink if we're not feeling our best. And I put it kind of in here. So I'm like, oh, remember exactly what tea this is. And uh, if it wasn't marked. So some of these are marked for individual use and it's got all the info on them. But other ones um, are not. This one's just a regular chamomile because I have company sometimes and they're not real tea drinkers. So they'll just be like, oh, just chamomile. It's like, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so the ones that don't have, I will keep a little piece of cardboard from the box that says what it is. So I was wondering where this one went, but anyway, you put your own tea in there, have fun with it. But then over here, I just was going to point this out. I used it for more than just tea. I put my little, um, Splenda monk fruit. <laughs> that is um, what I like to use to sweeten things. And I don't usually add it to my tea, but, um, it's just a convenient place for me to put this for other things that I do add, um, maybe like a monk sweet fruit, monk fruit sweetener in. So it's just a convenient little cubby for that. But then some people do like to add sweetener to their tea, so they could do that too. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. But I love it. I love, love, look, I can see through it. Gail loves cinnamon tea. Yes, cinnamon tea is very yummy too. I need to find me some of that. Monique, so that's perfect for you then. Yes, yes, grab it, girl, grab it, girl. All right, this next thing has been super popular. I think it started out over like on TikTok as a fad and then it went viral over on Instagram and all the places. But I'm a little late to the game and I finally got one of these little cubbies for your, um, for your baggies. So mine's a different color, but I just wanted to show you what it can look like. And you just tuck all of your baggies in there and they're all the different sizes. So funny story, true, true, funny story. Um, I asked my husband, um, all the time, can you get me a snack baggie? Can you get, can you get me a snack baggie? And, um, he comes out with like one of these gallon ones. I'm like, no, no, it's just a snack baggie. And true to form the guy, he, he grabs one of these, you know, a sandwich bag. And he's like, is this it? And I'm like, no. So three baggies later, I end up with the little snack baggie, right? This solves all of those problems. <laughs> so I know it's supposed to be for organization and to look pretty and to help with our OCD. So we're like, oh, yay, we have all of our baggies in the right spot. Um, for me, it's for my helpers in the kitchen. So if my son's here or my husband's helping me, I'll, I can just be like sandwich bag, snack bag, gallon, and they'll know exactly which baggie to grab. Is that is that funny or what? But true story. So this is a solid wood. Um, it, they come with little hanging holes, but um, I don't hang mine. I just put it in the drawer and uh, we use it this way, but it's super handy. I love it. I didn't know if I thought I needed one of these or not. Um, but you know, those um, little cardboard boxes that they all come in, they just get ruined. And um, over time, sometimes they don't fit down in the drawer for me and they just 
make the drawer hard to open and close. This has been fabulous because it again lays flat, the drawer closes and opens over it. And then my my peoples can find um, the baggy I need out of it. Have you guys invested in one of these yet? They're really, they're really awesome. And they make a good gift too, because sometimes it's not maybe something that you might would buy for yourself, but um, it makes a great gift for someone. So stuff to think about. Okay. So I've shared this about oh five or six times, but it is my favorite little water bottle. I, I cannot not share it when I'm sharing things that I love because I use it literally every single day. Um, the letters are still perfect on it. Um, you can measure each, well, you can measure it over here. I never look at that. But what you're supposed to do, how it's meant to work, is you drink down 32 ounces and then you fill it back up and drink down the other 32 ounces. And you start at 8 a.m., you refill it at one ish and you go back down to seven, right? And then it's got all these little motivating words on it. And you can see through and see the liquid too. So all of those things were super important to me when I was looking for um, the perfect little water bottle, right? And so um, this checked all of those boxes. Um, now I will say that every day I um, typically am drinking coffee still around these times and I'm still drinking coffee and I'm still drinking coffee. So a lot of times I don't get my water started until around this time, but I still try to finish this um, by, you know, around here so that I'm not too, too far behind. And that way, you know, I still get both bottles in, but it's not, mine's not exactly these times. So obviously you can do your own thing, but i um, just saying it's a great little guideline and a great little reminder of kind of where you're at for the day. Now it does have a twist off lid with the built-in straw and then it pops open like that. And it has a soft little um, straw built in there. You can close it and you can also flip this little piece up and lock it into place. And then you're going to have a leak proof. You can put it in your purse, in your car, leak proof um, water bottle. Love that little locking feature. And then again, you just push the button and you have your water ready to go. <laughs> mm. So um, it has a little lanyard on it. Um, I chose this pink color, but you can, they have lots of color choices. Um, but this kind of stays on there and I love it because when I'm carrying groceries or bags or I have no hands free, I can just use it like that, um, to make sure that it goes everywhere with me. So check these out. If you don't already have one, it's a great, great, um, way to just, a lot of people made new year's resolutions to like take better care of themselves or lose weight or drink water. And hopefully that's helpful to you if you don't already drink enough water. <laughs> um, okay. I have mentioned this before too, but I absolutely love, love, love this brand of teeth whitener. Now, um, you know, you might not think you need it, but let's see here. Uh, if you drink coffee or tea every single day, it adds up and you end up being like, eh. um, so these, I have super sensitive teeth and these are the only ones that I have found that, um, do not make my, um, teeth hurt every other, like the whitening, all, all the other whitening products, my teeth will actually ache and they will hurt. And then the next day they're super sensitive to cold air or hot tea or coffee. It's miserable and totally unworth it. Right? Well, when I tried these, cause I'm not one to not try things. Um, it was a game changer. And I know people say that all the time, but it really was. And so I love that it's all natural. It's coconut oil and it will literally, um, it, it comes with a, two strips in each packet. So you're meant to put one on top and one on bottom. And I actually cheat the system. <laughs> no, I don't cheat the system. Yes, I cheat the system. And I will take the top one or the bottom one and just do the top teeth. 
because my mouth is little and my teeth are little. So I'll just put the strip across the top teeth, um, do it for the 30 minutes and, uh, or the 10 minutes and then not dr eat or drink for 30 minutes. And then I will, um, take it off and brush my teeth. And then I will use the other strip, even though it's for the bottom and it's curved, I make it work for the top. So I usually get like two treatments to my top row of teeth with each one of these pouches. So for me, for me and the way I do it, um, it actually lasts twice as long. So I love these. If you think that you would like to have white teeth, <laughs> you should try the strips. Now I'll use the strips. Oh, maybe every couple weeks or so. Um, so I barely, it, I don't go through them very quickly, but I've shared with you guys before the paint pen. So it's also in my favorites. If you go to Amazon, you'll see it. But, um, if you follow me on Amazon, you will see on my shop, I have the little paint pen and I use the paint pen every day because it is too convenient. You just paint brush the little stuff on the same stuff that's on these strips and, uh, and it works instantly. So. I love them both. This is for the, the heavy lifting, like when I have somewhere to be. Um, and then the other is also a protectant. So it keeps your teeth from staining on, on a daily basis. All right. So we're sticking to beauty. We're sticking to beauty. This is my favorite brand of, there we go, Revitalash. Come on now. It's Revitalash Eye Serum, Eyelash Serum. And this is heavy duty stuff, y'all. This is the good, the good stuff, the real deal. I don't know why my camera won't zoom in for you guys, but it says Revitalash Cosmetics on it. There we go. Revitalash Cosmetics. And it is a navy blue lid. Do not be um, deceived by other brands. Let me show you up close. It has a little bitty brush on the bottom and you simply brush it over your eyelashes uh, before bed. And you don't want to just get it all in your eyes. It's of course safe, but um, you don't want to get it all in your eyes. You just want to lightly close your eyelid and lightly brush one or two strokes over those lashes. And then I just kind of pinch my lashes down and it gets on the bottom ones. You can certainly individually do the brush on the bottom lashes too. But I find that just kind of like lightly pinching them together um, gets enough on the bottom lashes too that you're good to go. And then you wash it off the next morning. And I promise you, I promise you that I promise you that I promise you, if you will use this for a few weeks, you'll notice after one week, but um, if you'll use this for a few weeks, you will be astonished at how long and soft your lashes become. It's um, crazy pants how well this stuff works. And I think it's because it's like the real deal. I was really tempted to DIY this because I was like, oh, it's um, castor oil and whatever. And I was like, you know what? Your eyes are too precious to jack around and use whatever it is you want. Um, so this says Revitalash Advanced on this side. And then just revitalash on this side. So don't be deceived. I should have it right here in my carousel as the exact one eyelash conditioner. I've tried a few others um, and they did okay. But this one, this one, this one, this one works. So have you guys ever used something like that? an eyelash um, conditioner that actually made your eyelashes grow. So because I don't do the um, false ones, let me get my eye, my eye up close for you. Oh gosh. How can I get this close? I don't use the, um, you can sort of see them there. I don't use the uh, false eyelashes because uh, they make my eyelashes fall out. So I'd rather just condition them and, make them lusher and more full and longer, um, my natural ones and do, do with what I have. So that's just me. Everybody's, everybody's different. So speaking of protecting your eyelashes and all the things I promoted this before, this is the makeup eraser and I have it in Navy blue. Um, and I like it in the dark color because it actually will hide any stains from the makeup. All right. 
but they come in all sorts of colors. This is the original um, makeup eraser brand. There's lots of other brands, but, and it just takes a little bit of water. So I literally just grab this like this and just a little bit of water and I wipe my eye makeup off, which is waterproof and it comes right off. Like I don't have to do a bunch of the makeup remover. I don't have to buy makeup remover or, um, any special things to, to, to use. I mean, I will use, um, a cleanser afterwards, but just to get the eye makeup off, this is amazing. And then I'll use it, um, with hot water for the rest of my face. But, um, it is so satisfying to run it under the water when you're finished and see all the makeup come off. It's just awesome. So I'm just promoting this. This is the original makeup eraser. It makes an amazing gift as well. Um, if you have other females in your life that wear, um, that wear waterproof makeup, this is an awesome alternative to using all those oily um, makeup removers. And I think it's healthier for your skin. So speaking of makeup, this is um, my new go-to for makeup brush cleaner. So your makeup brushes uh, do get dirty and they do get bacteria in them when you use them every day. So this is an awesome cleanser for them. I used to just use soap, but then I learned how much more effective this one is and how it will clean like bacteria. It says 97%. Um, so I love this it just takes a little bitty bit. I just put it in my hand and then I rub the uh, makeup brush around in it. And then again, it's so satisfying to see all that makeup go down the drain and um, cleaning the brushes. They turn from the makeup shade over to the clean brand new brush shade. So I love this by eco tools. Um, makeup brush and sponge shampoo. So if you use sponges too, I don't use <clears throat> a liquid foundation, so I don't really have sponges to clean, but, um, this is great to clean your brushes every week. And then my bathroom has like a little window and I will set the, br my makeup brushes up in that little window to dry and they're dry by the end of the day. So just a thought, <clears throat> stick into the bathroom. Stick into the bathroom. <laughs> this has always been my favorite, favorite um, dry shampoo. Um, everybody says it different. I call it Eva NYC. Um, but revive, refreshes, absorbs oil, freshen up invisible dry shampoo. It smells to die for. Now, I put a two a two pack in the carousel there because, hold on. Now, you know you're supposed to spray it on and let it, um, hold on, I'm going to put some on. You're supposed to spray it on, give it like a second, and then rub it in. I don't know if you knew that about dry shampoo, but I didn't for the longest time. I'll just put it in my roots, especially when I'm needing um, my hair to be colored. It really helps um, give it some extra volume. Look at all those dark roots. <laughs> anyway, it makes it look um, clean when it's not. It absorbs oil and it um, gives it body and texture. Oh my gosh. I absolutely adore, adore, adore this. So I put the two pack in there because it is a better deal to use, um, to, to buy the two pack. And a lot of times they get out of stock in this. And I know a lot of stores will not have this. I've been to Sally's a couple times and they did not have it. And they're like, here's some alternatives. I'm like, nope, I want this. <laughs> and so, um, having a backup, I almost always keep a backup of everything that I love because I never want to be just completely out of something. I, I don't know. Let me know if you're like that or if I'm, if I'm all alone like that, but I like to have backups. So this is my most asked about item because I wear them a lot of times when I'm live on video, but it is these tortoise shell um, glasses. They're just readers. They're just simple readers, but it's such a deal slash steal that I can't not share them as one of my favorites. 
Um, they come in a four pack. So I don't have the others here. I thought I might, but they come in, um, you'll see it, the pink, the clear, the black, and this tortoise shell. I honestly just wear this tortoise shell all the time. And then my husband <laughs> will wear the clear ones. And if we're ever, I keep it in my purse, um, the clear ones, so that when we're at a restaurant and we need to see the menu, um, I can have my tortoise shell and he will take the clear ones. So it's a great deal. It's a four pack for $12.95. Um, and they're also cute. They're also cute. Um, and I love the colors. So I don't know. Do you switch out your readers? Do you only keep one pair or do you switch them out all the time? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. And we are going to move on to something a little more Valentine's-y. This is a Dash Mini Waffle Maker. It has the little heart. <clears throat> Mine is a little bit different. It's the light pink, but you can choose whatever color you want. But you pour your batter in here and you close it up and it makes the cutest little, um, this is the, uh, has the light will come on when it's ready and it makes the cutest little heart-shaped wa waffles. So listen, I will make my waffle mix with um, one of the pre-mixed ones, but then I also sprinkle a little bit of protein powder in the mix just to give it a little more, I guess, like health foodness, health, healthiness to it. Um, and the reason I love this little, um, waffle iron is in its heart shaped is because you can use heart shaped year round. It doesn't have to just be for Valentine's, which is coming up. You're welcome. And so, um, I like it because it's heart shaped. You can use it year round when you're making the, um, waffles for your loved ones. They just feel so special. In fact, they remember because my son came in town the other day and he's like, are you making any waffles this morning? Um, because they remember because it's the little hearts. So it's super quiet out there. I feel like, are you there? Are you there? Amazon, YouTube, anyone? I'm just not seeing comments. Okay. Laurie says, um, hi, Melanie. Yay. So I know you're there. Um, if you want to join me over on um, Amazon Live, you are free to do that as well. The link is in the chat here. So Tyler Candles. Guys, these are some of my favorite things. I love the Tyler Candles, but I wanted to share this scent with you guys. I haven't shared this scent with you guys before. <clears throat> it's called Bless Your Heart. <clears throat> Bless Your Heart. If it will come into whatever. It's called bless your heart. Oh my gosh. Can you smell it? I barely started burning it. I did a no, no. You're not supposed to burn something for less than two hours, but we had to leave and I couldn't not, I couldn't leave it on. Oh my gosh. It smells like, um, baby powder and, um, gosh, I need to pull up the description y'all. It's like baby powder and patchouli. Is that such a thing? Baby powder and patchouli. It is such an awesome smell. I love it. Um, let me see if I can pull up the smell right here. The description of the smell. We have company. Okay. I'm always like not sure what we are getting. Here we go. Yay. Oh my gosh. I didn't bring this Oh, okay. Cause I didn't share it. Okay. Why is some of this stuff not in my favorites? Okay. I will. I will make sure everything ends up in my favorites, but, um, okay. Here is the bless your heart candle. It is. They're describing it as, well, obviously it's pink. So if you're going to gift it, make sure that you know that they don't mind if it's pink. Um, They're not describing it. So I would have to go to Tyler's site. It says sweet smell. I would say hint of jasmine. It's tough to describe. That's what people are saying. Okay, let me go to their site because I know they are always... Um, 
they've got a little description of every single one in whatever words they deem necessary. Why, 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 why? Okay, so be careful when you type in what it is you think is the... Um, Here we go. It's Tyler Candles. And I am going to, it doesn't have a search bar. Okay, here we go. Um, bless your heart. Innocent, they're calling it. Okay, are you are you ready for this? Let me know. Give me some hearts. <laughs> we went to a lot of trouble to find this description. <laughs> it's called Innocent Sweet playful, and always truly genuine. Raw vanilla, bergamo, which is what I was mistaking for patchouli, um, Sicilian orange, raspberry, fig leaves, lily of the valley, cotton candy, musk, and woody notes. So I feel like I might have totally confused you more and I should have stuck with my description, <laughs> which was just baby powder and patchouli. But it is awesome. It is, um, okay, I'll repeat it real quick. Raw vanilla, bergamot, Sicilian orange, raspberry, fig leaves, lily of the valley, cotton candy, musk, and woody notes. And that's a mouthful. But they're calling it innocent and sweet, playful and genuine. Wow. What do you guys think? Sometimes that's kind of fun just to like research the candles. <laughs> you love the name, Cynthia. I know. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. All right. So next Tyler candle real quick is the diva. This one is wonderful. So this is some of their elegant line where it comes in a glass jar. These are super popular for gifts. Um, this one is diva, which like I said, is one of their more popular. They have like two or three that are just um, over the top like bestsellers and it's like cowboy diva, um, high maintenance. These are their favorites. I mean, their bestsellers diva is described as a warm and complex fragrance overflowing with delicious fruits and rich florals, rich, aromatic chocolate and Amber complete this luscious blend diva. So I'm getting from that fruits, florals, chocolate, and Amber. But I just think it's good. In fact, I have Diva wax melts and an old Diva candle right here, over here burning in my living room today. It's kind of like a light perfume. I can't explain it very well. They do a much better job with all the words, but I have this in the cart. Makes a great gift. Um, I love the glass jar. You could tie a really cute satin ribbon around it and put some bling in the center for an awesome gift. I think I might do that for um, Valentine's for somebody. Somebody special. Amazon customer. Yay, Tyler Candle Company. Yes, and you're from Tyler. Um, we have lots of family in Tyler. So um, I'm a big um, proponent of the Tyler Candles. You guys, they are obviously made in Tyler, Texas. So we're proud of them. We're proud of them. All right. The next thing we're, we're winding down here. We're coming, we're, we're landing the plane, um, is a couple of wreath options. So these are the hanging wreaths. I, I offered you up the two count of a couple of different choices. They are lamb's ear. I'm going to add my video to the stream real quick. All right, so these I hung on my French doors in my living room right in front of me. I can see them, but I didn't want to have to jack with the um, camera. So why isn't it playing? Here we go. Oh, it's just frozen, y'all. I may have to re-download it and add it. Super weird. Let me see about um, let me see about adding it one more time. Oh, you know what? Yep. It wants me to add it. Here we go. And we're walking. Here it comes. 
Right. All right. So this is my French doors in front of me. This is how I styled them. I hung them on um, just some Buffalo check ribbon. They're really tiny. So they're, they're, they're kind of cute and they're not obstructive of the view, which I really appreciate. Um, you can see it is the lamb's ear. Um, they have other options like boxwood and eucalyptus, but I was loving the lamb's ear and the light tone it gives <clears throat> to, um, to my doors. What do you think? There they are. I love them. I love the Buffalo check. I love the little wreaths. So you can choose uh, between, there's a couple here in the carousel. Um, and then there's some that I shared a few weeks ago that came with the little uh, votives. And those are cute as well. I'll show you one more time. So these are actually the package of wreaths that I got with the little votives. And I stacked three of them together on each side and added the buffalo check ribbon myself. I still may add a bow to them, but I chose not to when I hung them. So they're kind of where they, where they landed. Um, but yeah, like I said, I love the extra little touch it gives. It's just one little tiny um, thing that added just a little bit to those French doors. And these are the French doors um, that are in here in my living room. And then that's the hallway down, down the front entryway. So those are your choices. I'm not seeing any comments. You guys let me know what you think. And then this is um, my final share for my favorite things that I found today. And it is the, I can't say it y'all. Sava, Sava, Sof, I don't know y'all. It is this awesome rug and I added it to my kitchen. And of course it's not going to air either. Let me add it again. Um, I, I love this rug, this particular rug, y'all. I don't want to sound like a weirdo, but like <laughs> I bought this rug uh, for my crafting garage. So I have this exact rug in my crafting garage. I also have it um, here in my kitchen. I have two of them in my crafting garage, a round one and a long square one. Look at these colors. I love the multicolors. I love the pops of gold and blue and hot pink on the cream background. And then we needed a new rug for the kitchen. My other one was just had seen better days. And so this is the winner. I bought another one of, of the one that I love, which is this one. Um, so I'll show you again. This one is the five by seven, I believe, which I have in the carousel here. And um, then again, I bought an eight by 10 for the um, crafting garage and then a round for the crafting garage, which is three or five feet, but I will share that one soon. And then I'm going to get a second one for that back room. You can't see back there, but the pantry goes back towards the back of this walkway. I'm going to add a um, smaller one of these to that area because, you know, when you find a rug you like and it's going to be seen at the same time as the other one, you should match them. You should totally match them. Um, agreed. Does everyone agree? Does everyone agree? You guys, y'all have been fantabulous. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for, for finding me. If you're new, hit the follow button. If you are not new, welcome back. Um, thanks for going back and watching the replays. Laurie, um, how do you sign into the live over on Amazon? So you will just go to the link that I have here for you guys, and it should have a little follow button and you just hit follow and it will alert you every time I'm about to do one of these videos. And you should also be able to see all the live streams for the past and, and you should be able to get into my shop and everything from there, but just explore it a little bit. Um, it's not through your Amazon app. So you're not, if you have the Amazon app to make purchases in, this is separate from that. So you will go here and sign up, but listen, I want you guys to have a wonderful Wednesday and I will see you guys back here Sunday. I will be back here live on Sunday at two 
with all the things, this is the plan, all the things um, that you would need to um, have a football watching party, whether that's a regular playoff game party or um, the Super Bowl, which we're not supposed to say, the big game, the big game um, party. You're so welcome, Laurie. Listen, you guys, love you. Love you to pieces. Have a good day.